What's going on guys, it's your boy ATF Cobra and today I have another Battlefield 3 video for you guys and today I wanted to discuss uh, post patch setups, post patch, uh, post patch tips and tricks and uh, what I think so far of um, you know the things that are going to take place um, in the future for Battlefield and uh, stuff like that so let's get started. Anyways, um, first off I wanted to talk to you guys about the weapons that have been working for me so far and um, the first one is the AEK. On Xbox the AEK works um, 80% of the time I get a lot of kills with it kills really quickly um, it doesn't look like they did too much to it in the patch it looks like it still works um, without the foregrip the foregrip now you want to um, not use the foregrip at all on any weapon because it decreases your uh, long range accuracy and you're gonna need that because it's gonna take um, a little bit more bullets to kill long range so that's why I want you guys to avoid that now you could go with the heavy barrel. Now I don't recommend the heavy barrel for players like myself who don't like vertical recoil because vertical recoil is probably the worst recoil you could have, um, deal with because it means uh, you have to be able to manage your recoil under intense gunfights because once you throw that heavy recoil with uh, suppression on you're going to lose that gunfight very quickly. Oh yeah, another class setup that I've been using as well is the FAMAS. Um, ACOG site and uh, that's it nothing with it you know whenever you slap on a grip or anything other than laser laser is probably your best bet to go with every gun for a um, secondary or a third attachment if you want if you do try uh, you know the the grip you're gonna see how bad um, it is you know when you do slap on the grip but anyways um, I've been using laser uh, for every class setup that I've used because it gives you that hit fire bonus and you're gonna need it a lot of the times because what hit fire does now it suppresses it suppresses on um, players a lot more than it, it does before and that's gonna help you when um, you know your medium your short range gunfights your up close gunfights because not all the time you're gonna be rushing around corner or not even rushing around corner but coming around the corner you immediately put down your sights and want to fire sometimes you're gonna want to hit fire to make sure that you get your enemy you're gonna want to strafe and another thing about strafing is that uh, if you add too many attachments um, or the more attachments that you add when you're um, actually strafing it actually makes you run a little bit slower or makes you strafe slower a lot slower now I've tested this out uh, with a bunch of other guns and it just feels like it does I mean you could kinda tell I should do a video on it but um, PC it's kinda hard because I have to join empty servers to actually record some gameplay but I'm gonna start doing that I'm gonna start showing you guys difference in recoil um, and how to manage recoil for some guns and stuff like that uh, that's coming very soon on my channel but anyways, uh, so far, uh, the best manageable recoil is for the AEK. It looks like it, it, the recoil that it has in, is mostly bouncing left to right. Um, not so much vertical recoil. That's why it's easier to manage. And the uh, 900 rounds per minute is ridiculous. It's still a fast-firing gun. Um, it's still one of those guns you want to go with, especially medium to short-range um, gunfights. Um, it's that gun that you really want. And here... Um, I was playing on a big map and um, I think, was I using the silencer? I hope I wasn't using the silencer. The silencer is out of the question for just about every gun. The only gun I've been able to do well with, with the silencer still is the M16A3. I know a lot of you guys think most of these guns are done, they're dead, you can't use this, you can't use that, but you can. Um, it just, you have to play, um, play differently now. The M16A3, um, it lost that long range, that super long range gun, for, um, you know, Battles that you guys been winning, not no more. Um, it, if even without the suppressor, the M16A3 still feels like it won't be killing uh, guys anytime soon. And uh, you know <laughs> what I used to call the M16 uh, myself was the laser beam of death because that's how it felt in most medium, even to long range gunfights. You could just point, shoot, and be able to control your recoil and kill people. Now it has a lot more recoil, but it's still manageable. The M16A3 is still my favorite gun to use in Battlefield 3. And excuse me for the um for this freaking ridiculously ugly and choppy, messy chopper um gameplay right here. I I'm not used to choppers. I'm not used to playing with choppers, so that's why um you seeing this. <laughs> I don't know. I almost felt retarded flying around with this guy back and forth, but I won the gunfight, so it doesn't matter. But yeah. Anyways, um, back to the ground game, to infantry game. The infantry game is my probably my favorite. That's why I'm always able to do well on my ground game. Um, and I always, you know, 90% of the time, I find myself on top of leaderboards, and that's not because 
I'm a beast or anything like that. It's because I know how to play, how to play smart, what to use. I think while I'm on the move, because Battlefield is that a slow paced game. It's not too slow paced, but it's a slower paced game than Call of Duty. So it allows me to think on the move. So while I'm making a um, you know, destination towards a flag or to a rush point or an MCON station, um, I'm thinking on the move and I'm making the smart decisions that are going to help me um, you know, do and perform for my team. So that's what you guys got to take into account as well. Be able to perform out there on the field and, uh, you know, go out there for the win. Don't just go out there, um, you know, it's, it's okay to have fun. Actually, it's better than okay. Um, you can have fun, but if you're losing, well, how much fun can you really be having? Um, anyways, another class setup. I haven't talked about the engineer class at all, but it looks like the scar might be usable. I mean... Um, it didn't have too much recoil for me at first it, it felt like it did but it was just me not used to how much it bounces but the scar bounces the same time the same position every single time I like that it bounces straight up and you can kind of control it and um, I've been able to go full auto with the scar uh, you know medium to short range um, gunfights but um yeah the scar is another gun that um, a lot of people are gonna overlook but it's that gun that you'll probably see you're gonna start to see a lot more along with the M416 and the AEK those are gonna be the primary guns that you're gonna see a lot of people use and um, don't go with what everybody use most of the time just go with a gun that feels right that you could do well with don't just go with a gun because of its characteristics or its OP or anything like that uh, uh, anything um you know, anyways, I wanted to also say, uh, you know, I'm excited for these uh, new maps that are going to be coming out in June. It's almost two months away, and to think about them now, the new guns that are going to be in that, um, in the pack as well, I'm excited for all those new guns because I can't wait to see what, which gun is OP. I can't wait to see which is going to be the next laser beam of death. Um, you know, I'm excited to try new weapons because of the feel. It's going to it's gonna bring a new, uh, you know, a new, whole new um, game. It's going to feel like Battlefield 3.0. Two or something, because this patch was like Battlefield 3.5, so um, definitely excited for that as well. But uh, a lot of games that are coming out this year that I'm gonna have on my, start posting on my channel. Um, I'm thinking a lot more Max, um, not Mass Effect, but Max Payne 3. As soon as that comes out, I'm gonna be posting that on my channel, and I'm just looking for different guns to put on my channel. But anyways, if you guys any su have any suggestions of what I should post or um, what gameplays I should post as well, leave it in the comments below. It's been your boy. Peace.